So what is currently happening to Sophie's stock is just insane. Despite being super new at the public market, it already experienced gains of almost 150% in its first weeks only, currently pulling back however from a second spike last month. So what we are going to do today is give you an insight into what is happening to the stock and break down exactly whether it is still a buy at the end. And as the analysis in the video is absolutely crucial to consider before buying the stock, make sure to stay tuned. But before we jump right in, just hit that subscribe button down below. And as we'll keep you updated on breaking news and awesome trading opportunities every single day, subscribing would not only help us but also you. So there is really no excuse for not smashing the subscribe button, it's free, and you can always unsubscribe if you feel so. Alright, so in the case of Sophie Technologies, we are looking at a relatively new financial services company, initially founded for student loan financing. Since then, it has expanded its offerings to mortgages, personal loans and brokerage services, while basically being an ultimate finance platform. But what makes the company so interesting for investors is that it went public on June 1st via a reverse merger with a SPAC called Social Capital Head of Sofia. As a result, Sophie raised over $2.4 billion in cash proceeds to be used for further expansion strategies, which is absolutely insane. And while its first quarter financial results are also looking extremely good with an adjusted net revenue of $216 million, a 151% year-over-year increase, one of the most promising things about Sophie, though, are its acquisitions. For example, last April, the company acquired the financial services API and payments platform Galileo for $1.2 billion. Galileo also works with the company's competitors, including brokers like Robinhood. Plus, and this is also crucial to consider for our prediction at the end of the video, this March, it agreed to acquire a Californian community bank called Golden Pacific Bancorp in order to bolster its goal of nabbing a national bank charter. This would support profitability, as borrowing costs would be noticeably lower. So while the company expects to continue its growth in regard to members, having managed a 110% gain in the first quarter, it also predicts new revenue to fall right under $1 billion over the full year, up 58% from the realized $621 million in 2020. Nevertheless, and this is very important to consider, the stock currently is very expensive, trading at around 18.4 times sales. Yet, this rich valuation may be worth it, considering its strong chances of becoming a leader in the fintech space. Combined with the company's key backer and seeing his reputation among growth stock investors rebounding, investors may be willing to give Sophie the time to live up to the high expectations set when the SPAC merger was first announced. But there is one major factor that probably caused the stock to pull back recently, inflation. And you've probably heard about this before, since February, concerns over rising inflation have skyrocketed due to the risk it'll compel the Fed to raise interest rates much sooner than expected. As a result, several times this year, growth stocks have experienced temporary pullbacks. But the Fed has been able to cool down concerns and make statements that imply that it doesn't plan to shift from dovish to hawkish monetary policy. However, the fundamental problem with Sophie stock is that investors have extremely high expectations for the shares. The stock is priced as though Sophie is a high-flying size type business. But behind all the gloss and glitter, it is more like a really expensive bank. The company may be doing a lot of things using an interesting app, but it's done little to reinvent either banking or brokerage services so far. That's at least what you'll find online about the company. What we think, however, is that you don't have to always reinvent the wheel. And it is the platform the company built around the old business model that is so special and differentiates it from all the other banks out there. So as shares are currently pulling back, trading at cheaper and cheaper prices, it might be a good performing long-term opportunity to invest now. Be aware of the risk however, and do never put money on the line, you can't afford losing. Alright, with that being it for today's video, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video and want to support our mission of providing free financial information to everyone here on YouTube, please ensure you're subscribed and definitely consider leaving a like. As mentioned before, it really means the world to us. Thanks a lot and see you next time.